Hey, sprinting away from the 1200 metre marker. 2 free 2 over on the inside. That made a good beginning as one of the first to go. She's Perfect is also right there. They are followed further back in the field showing pace Amber Bell and further back in the run is Croquet Day and towards the outside of that one is Up in Smoke. Cosima is further back in the run about three lengths off the leader. Show me the light. Sapphire Petun is on the extreme right hand side. Pina Collada is a couple of lengths off them. Absolute stampede as they get towards the 700 metre region. Towards the inside there, Titer Falcon is well placed. 2 free 2 Up in smokes moving in. Amber Bell. Sapphire Petunia. Then comes Uprise. Pina Colada is looking for some room. It's going to come around them. Towards the outside, Damaraland's got about two lengths to make up. Just outside the 200. Sapphire Petunia. But here's Damaraland with a big run. And Damaraland comes to get them all over the last 100 metres. And Damaraland to win going away. Sapphire Petunia up in smoke and then uprise. Number 11, Demoraland is the winner. And this is the Cape Cross, Dean Canamayer, Anthony Del Pesh, the first timer. And number 11 goes off tote favourite at 390. Makes up the ground and then swoops over the last 100 metres to win going away. Second, number one, Sapphire Petunia. That paid 260 a place. Third to number six, Up in Smoke at two rand. And the fourth position to number three, Uprise. The tote favourite was the winner, number 11, Demara Land. Pina Colada's further back in the running. And then came Catskill Queen. Winner, two off the right-hand side, and Demoraland under the hands at this stage, and then just picks them up and wins going away from Sapphire Petunia. That's the running of race five. Until the running of the sixth race, back to the studio. Just seen the running of race number five as Dean Kanamea joins us. The first time are coming through Demora Land, the daughter of Cape Cross. And she was a horse that you're expecting to run well on debut? Well, you know, she's a filly. When, 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 I, when I got the filly, she uh, went through a very rough time, you know, from the northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere. Um, we had a vaccinated African horse sickness and she had a reaction. And uh, temperature was on and off for quite some time. And uh, I said to Jessica, she's, it's taken us a long time to run her, but she's northern hemisphere filly. And uh, I've said to Jess, we'll bring her up to Durban. And I've been waiting and waiting with her. Some, if you look at a coat, it's still sometimes it's, it goes a little bit steery, then it's bright and it's steery. But um, when we initially started off with her, Anthony said, you know, she's got tremendous natural speed and she's ready to go further. And I was speaking to Jean Malaba, yeah, but he said, Dino, she's definitely, you know, she's ready to go over ground. But I must say, well done. And, uh, good luck to Jessica Slack. I just spoke to her. She's excited about this. And, and the whole team and guy, you know, for the farm and the pedigree that she's gotten. And I, I wasn't involved in at all buying in Ireland. And uh, it was Jess and Jean Malab and the team on the other side. So uh, well done to them. But I, I did think tonight, today that one run under belt will bring on tremendously. But it was, it was, it was an impressive win. Good introduction. Your runners to come. They look to be competitive and love. Yeah, one man show uh, ran a nice race last time. He was just he was a bit uh, bulk for, for galloping up the straight. Um, you know, we drawn 12, not a great draw, even though it's over 2 4. And uh, the Slade, I think, is a horse that uh, we haven't seen the best of him. And, and I think he's got to be a very competitive runner. Baby in the last race, too old and open company, not easy. I don't really quite know where I stand with him, but I wouldn't leave him at the exotics. Thanks for that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anthony Delpesh bringing home the daughter of Cape Cross. Now, just looking, she was drawn towards the centre inside? Yeah, I was never going to get a run down the inside. I think everyone thinks it's gold there. So, so, and uh, she st just started halfway to, to pick it up, and I said I just wanted a clear run. So I moved her right to the outside, and she actually moved up very well and won a good race. I think she surprised me. Uh, she shows more speed at home, and which I'm very happy that she was a little bit behind them and, and quickened up smartly. She hasn't been so easy to train, so very well done to Dean. Nice to get these ones on the map and into the winner's box. Yeah, this is my sponsor, and I always love riding winners for them. Very well done to Jess and Mary. Well done. Thank you. Anthony Del Pesh producing the goods. Damara Land, the daughter of Cape Cross. She's come through. She came to the outside, and she's fetched them all.